I had always had a very deep passion uh, for the military, but I would say around eighth grade is when I first, when I wrote my first email uh, to West Point, and I just kept writing, and there was a span where, you know, I'm in eighth grade, she hadn't been replying back, so I just kept writing. There was a period of two weeks where I called her every morning, and I waited for her to call me back, and then eventually she called me back. But I'd always loved the idea of serving. I would say eighth grade is when it started, and I just kept pursuing interests, kept pursuing the idea, eventually visited campus, and now here we are today. I mean, there's nerves everywhere, but I guess it's something that, of course, you have to understand that there's a sacrifice that you're making when you make that commitment, but it's something that you're willing to, you're willing to accept, um, especially, you know, it's something that I've always wanted to do, but, you know, that risk isn't something that's going to prevent me from, from doing that. It wasn't a decision that uh, she made lightly. There was a lot of time and thought went into it, and, and I, I imagine, as with any military family, there's a level of concern for going into the Army, but uh, both her mom and I support it 100%. It's, it's what she wants to do, and she's very focused and driven it, and so it's exciting. She's, she's living the dream right now, her senior year in high school, but it's gonna, gonna get real busy and challenging real fast. In order to go to West Point, you have to get a congressional nomination, um, which is pretty competitive. So I would say that was the toughest part, but it was a very long application process. Um, so just going through all that, it's very, um, it's a grind, I guess you could say, if the softball term was used. But you just keep going. There's a lot of things you have to do, um, a lot of paperwork, a lot of uh, things you have to fill out. But the nomination is probably one of the hardest things to get. She's just a great asset, and she's so smart. She just can pick up on things so quickly and from memory. And it's just, I can see her running for president one day, knowing this kid. Everything that you do in sports, any sport, and especially softball, can be related to the Army. Um, you're on a team. You know, everybody's got a small part that they have to do in order to get your goal. So the goals and the idea of the game and the military might be different, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the same idea, it's the same concept. You're on a team, you're all doing your part to do what you can, which is your goal. So in softball, the goal is to win, but, you know, I guess for the Army, the goal is to win too. So softball kind of really gave me everything I need, in my opinion, to be a good leader in the Army.